Hi, we are Eric Recchia and Robert Camacho, and this is our Engineering 305 project. A bicycle blender is a human-powered blending machine. Pedaling the bicycle causes the flywheel to rotate. A friction drive connects to the flywheel and transfers the rotational energy of the flywheel to the blender, causing it to spin. The friction drive is made of a skateboard wheel, a bicycle hub, and a blender coupling. Before we start, we are going to review some basic safety procedures. First, make sure the blender is securely in place before starting. Next, we'll adjust our seat. Adjust your seat to a comfortable height by removing the pin, raising the seat or lowering it, and then securely replacing the pin. Once it is adjusted, make sure your seat is in a secure position. Be sure to only operate the blender when the top is on and secure. Finally, never put your hand or fingers near the flywheel or drivetrain when the blender is in use. This hose clamp here controls how close the drivetrain is to the flywheel. If the skateboard wheel is not rotating, use a slotted screwdriver to tighten the hose clamp. If, however, it is too difficult to rotate the flywheel, use your screwdriver to loosen the hose clamp instead. The skateboard wheel is easy to replace if it wears out. All you need is a socket wrench and a 15 millimeter socket. Now it's time to make a smoothie. First, we need our ingredients. Ice, a liquid, usually juice, milk, or a milk substitute, and, of course, your favorite flavor fixins, such as fruits, vegetables, yogurt, or even peanut butter. Don't forget that you can also use your blender to make awesome soups and sauces. Now that we've added all of our ingredients, it's time to get on the bike and ride. Now it's time to enjoy your appropriately made, pedal-powered smoothie creation. 